The University of Ghana Medical Center, UGMC, is five years old and it's already positioning itself to be a world-class academic medical center. A key pillar of this mandate is to perform research to bring new treatments and medical devices that will enhance the health of Ghanaians and the world at large. And to help achieve this goal, the board and management have an urgent need for a state-of-the-art inpatient clinical trials unit, CTU, and a clinical trials laboratory where the trials will be performed safely to international standards. On GTV Breakfast today, I have Madame Judith Esiama, who is the Director, Nursing and Midwifery Services at UGMC. Judith, thank you for making the time to join us. And Nana Joajan is the Deputy Director, Medical and Scientific Research Centre, UGMC. Nana, thank you as well for thank making you. the time. Welcome. And congratulations and thank you on for having us. Um, five years of existence. It, it seems just like yesterday when UGMC was opened and everyone was wondering, is this even a private facility? It doesn't even look like a, a, a public hospital. But then came COVID and then the, the, the sacrifice yeah. that the center, you know, offered to, to Ghanaians and everything that followed after. It just makes you proud. I'm sure that in five years, these are the success stories you would want us to remember. But it has not been an easy road. Share that with us. I'll start with you, Judith. Okay, so University of Ghana Medical Center, as we all know, is a quaternary uh, facility. And we dwell more on research, training, and quality of healthcare. So when COVID came in, as you have mentioned, the facility was not fully opened. So we were able to take the COVID patients to nurse them, in fact, to give them the quality care that we want. Now the facility has expanded, and we have all the clinical care areas, be it medical, surgical, and other areas. Then also we've been able to chart some successes. So we've been able to, um, uh, we, we, we've been able to do certain uh, surgical procedures when it comes to cardiac cardiothoracic surgeries. And then also, we've been also been able to open the IVF units for in, uh, in vitro fertilization. We are doing that. And then also, we've expanded when it comes to our, our imaging services. That is MRI. And then also, they've introduced the nanos uh, imaging machine, which also helps to train doctors and radiographers, not only in UGMC, but outside UGM, uh, UGMC. We have also collaborated a lot. So visitors come in, in, in and out to perform surgeries. And then also we give to the community. We work with Cal Bank. We also work with Ghana Gas. And then also we work with other companies to do health screening for them. So we are doing a lot. It seems like your hands are full. So yes. why are you, um, why the clinical trials? Why is that such a critical thing that you, you want to develop even more of? Okay, so um, when we talk of clinical trials, we are looking at um, when it comes to medications that we all take, right? Um, when you are sick, you take the medicine anyways, whether it's being tested on us as Africans or as Ghanaians, we still take it. Mm -hmm. But the, the need for clinical trial is that re recently research has made us know that some uh, medication that are being given for um, cases like diabetes, high blood pressure doesn't mm -hmm. really work for us as Ghanaians and Africans. So what our focus on is for the trials to be done here as well so that we we'll know is it good for us. You know when um, as we were talking about COVID, when COVID came, most of us were hesitant in taking the vaccines because it was not tested on us. Mm -hmm. So there's a, the need that when we have a clinical trials unit done, we have these big farms, us farmers also coming here to do the trials here so that we know the efficacy. Is it going to work for us? Is it for us for as Ghanaians? So that when it comes to taking of such vaccines, that hesitancy would not be there again. Then again, we also need to train more. We have in Ghana, we have few um, doctors and few researchers training clinical trials because we don't have the facility so even when they get the training most of them leave but when we have the facility where we'll be able to have them perform the trials then we'll be able to train the next generation so, as well so doctors who do clinical trials are not like the gp and no the the, the gynecologist no, they have special training so and if you're a gp called? 
they, they are called clinical trialists. They, if you're a GP and you want to take up a clinical trial, you have to go through a number of courses and a number of so programs. So clinical trial is a specialization It's a specialization, well. yes, it is. So we need to train the next generation because most of them that we have currently are near retiring. Right. So it's very critical for us as Ghanaians and also as UGMC being uh, uh, wanting to provide quaternary service health care by focusing on the three arms of, of health care, which is the patient care um, training and research. It's important that we also focus on clinical trials so that we'll be able to cover all that. So when we are sick, we don't fly out there because out there they are doing well because they have They've invested the into, into, into the space. trials, yes. But, and I'm not ignoring you, Judith, but on, on the trials, is it not expensive? We know the, the number one medical tourist destinations in the world. We know even number two or three. But they've put serious money into it. Who's going to pay for this plan okay. that you, GMC? That has? is why we are here. We because are raising already, funds. The idea is, your charges are not regular charges. <laughs> <laughs> so is it that, that is, when we are sick, that is what people think. you pass on to us so that you do clinical trials? No. That's, that's not the, when that's it not comes to clinical trials, mm -hmm. we're going to have the big farmers. You know, when we have these pharmaceutical companies, they, are, they want to try their medication, so they are going to foot the bill. Okay. The bill will not be passed on to the, the person. Mostly even people who participate in trials are paid to participate. Okay, so it's not like when you, you are not well and you come, we say that pay for trials. No, that big is pharma not, will pay that for is it. Not, no, 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 big pharma will pay for it. So that is not what it is. And then again, the, yes, it's expensive to set up clinical trial. However, we collaborating, that's why Judith said, we collaborate with a lot of pe uh, people and a lot of facilities. Currently with our clinical trial, getting the machines and the analyzers, the, the most sophisticated analyzers, we are collaborating with MDS Seba which is collaborating with us to provide us with our analysis. So it's a collaborative effort between UGMC and the MDS server. So they are providing all the analysis. Then again, UGMC need to provide a space into ISO specification standards so that we'll be able to qualify to attract the big firm to come here. As for the questions I have, maybe one hour. So let's talk about the celebration. <laughs> okay, What's so, going to happen? Five so years actually, old. we are celebrating operationalization. Okay. And then also to raise funds. For the clinical trials units and then you ask how, how are we expecting the funds that's why we are here so we are appealing to the general public organizations philanthropists those who can one way or the other support us in fact anything that they can use we are willing to accept so if i bring water we'll mm -hmm. take it what do you want what do you really want in for fact the the book is money money and then some equipment she mentioned analyzers so if somebody can come and volunteer to give us some of the analyses we'll take and we need money because for trials you have to spend a lot so we need money where do people go to to contact you how do they reach okay so we office? have a, our bank details which we can give it out okay let's let's hear them so is the university of ghana medical center celebrating five years they want to position themselves as a world-class research facility because of that, they are focusing on opening a state-of-the-art clinical trials unit and a clinical trials laboratory. They are asking for funds and support to be able to make this unit, um, the vision of the unit, a reality. They are asking for equipment, medical equipment. They are asking pharmaceutical companies to come on board and support the clinical trials in any way they can so that they can provide the patient care, the training, and the research needed to satisfy the Ghanaian market. They are just about to share their bank details with us now. So take these details and support the University of Ghana Medical Center. Judith, let's Thank hear you. Thank you. So the bank name is Bank of Ghana. Then the account number is 101863152192424. I think I'll repeat the number again. 101863152224. Three one five two one nine two four, and the account name is University of Ghana Medical Center, General. Thank you very much.
Okay, I'll take your final word then. You can also uh -huh. just walk into University of Ghana Medical Center and ask that you want to see Director of Finance or the fundraising committee. We have a fundraising committee that we are raising funds for the clinical trials unit, which is chaired by um, Director of Operation. So you can just walk in and then tell us that you want money. Or you can just call us call UGMC when you when you go to UGMC website we have a lot of numbers when you call you say that you are whoever I will drive and come for the money <laughs> what is the money for the but what is what is the actual program itself that you're okay. having so okay so the activities you're asking mm -hmm. of yeah so on the 12th that's tomorrow we'll launch the uh, uh, the celebration then on the 14th we have games and then we have some SBTs both internal staff and external external staff or members to exhibit their products yes like a fair then on 25th of august will be the climax so these are some of the activities then we'll be having on the 14th we are going to the school of the dam at mampong as i said we, 14th of july 14th the same yeah, day you're doing yes the we are 15 sorry we are going to the school of the dam at mampong to have a yeah. screening for them i you remember i mentioned we do community communal work we joint organizations to give health screening. Mm -hmm. So we are going to have health screening, medical health screening for them. Some of the activities will be general examination, assessment, uh, audiologists will be there to test their hearing and then give care. They will do eye screening tests mm -hmm. and more others. Physiotherapists will be there, occupational therapists too will be there. If I want them to have the day and enjoy themselves. So these are some of the things we'll be doing. So a bunch of activities and I'll be grateful if you come around. We'll see us. Yes. Thank you, ladies, for sitting with us. And congratulations to UGMC. Yeah. Thank you as well for the service that you continue to provide for us. UGMC is five years old. They have a lineup of activities coming up. The launch of their um, a fundraiser to get that state-of-the-art clinical trials unit. They'll be launching a series of activities to celebrate their anniversary tomorrow, 12th of July, 2023 on 14th of July there will be a games and exhibition many products for you to choose from 15th of July a trip to the school of the dam they are going to have a health screening for the people there they will take their professionals there to look at them 25th August is the big day really where they climax all the activities to mark their five years in existence they have been around for five years but it feels like a very long time they're looking for equipment they're looking for support and they want you to come aboard and help them to achieve this dream of putting a clinical trials unit in place at UGMC. You can do that by donating to their bank account number. They have an account with the Bank of Ghana. The account number is 10186315219241924. The account number Bank of Ghana 10186315219924 under the name Univers University of Ghana Medical Center General, so UGMC General, or you can just walk into their their office and make a, a donation if you call them to they, and if you momo them to they'll collect. So when you send your TV license star 447 star 333 hash then you send another one to ugmc ladies judith asiyama is a director nursing and midwifery services nana Jani, deputy director medical and scientific research center both at ugmc thank you for making the time thank you also for having us and this is where we take the very last break when we return we'll give you some sugar to set you up on your tuesday breakfast returns after this